Hiya, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create bruises. Now, you probably know what a bruise is, because you've probably bruised yourself. Uh, and as you then know, bruises can happen anytime and anywhere. They can be caused by numerous things. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create a bruise. So I've got multiple different types of palettes here. So I've got grease paints, alcohol activated paints, and eyeshadow palettes, just to show you that you can create a bruise sort of from anything that you've got like it doesn't matter on your budget so i have the sean sean richard vida alco color healthy skin palette and that is that's what it looks like and that is my favorite alcohol palette to create bruising the colors are just really pigmented and you've got all the colors that you need so as they're alcohol activated you will need 99 percent alcohol to activate it. I've got references up, always have references. That's like the number one thing when you're doing anything special effects, try to get good references. Some makeup artists don't like using alcohol around the eyes because obviously it's a delicate area and it's 99% so it's quite harsh and it can be quite drying. So I'm going to show you how I do bruising, I'm going to do it on my eye just so I can get the camera in quite close so you can see it better. Taking a little bit of yellow I'm just going to start placing that under my eyebrow, just on that bone there. Working with alcohol activated paints, you want to be especially careful around the eyes and then like the nose and the mouth as well. You don't want them it going into their mouths or them breathing it in too much. So that is a very, very light layer of yellow. So I'm now going to go into the indigo and just start to darken it up. So I've gone in with a mixture of the crimson and the red just for a little bit of depth and to help get the idea that there's like blood vessels that have popped. And then just sort of like to help finish this off I'm just going to go and put a little bit of yellow just back over it and just around it so it starts to look as if the um, black eye and the blood's all dispersing. So as you can see, I've done really, really light washes of um, the colours and it's still really effective. Like you can go a lot darker and when they're fresher, they will be a lot darker. But this look was done using literally just one palette. So if you do a lot of bruises, I would, I would personally recommend this purely because it's got all the colours there and you can see it. So that's the alcohol palettes done. And we're now going to be talking about grease paints so there are so many grease paints out there which is good because then hopefully they should be affordable this brand is sort of like an industry standard sort of deal the Kryolan and this is what it looks like there's, so there's plenty of colours so I've got Kryolan and then also have this little palette from Amazon. I'll, I'll leave all the links down below as to where you can find things and whatnot. And then Revolution also have a grease paint palette. This Revolution palette was my first ever special effects palette. It got me into university because I had to send in looks to sort of prove that I could do special effects and that I had some sort of talent I suppose. I think on the other side I'm then going to use the Kryolan palette just to see as to how like the colours differ just so then you can make a choice if you're planning on buying any of these anytime soon which one you prefer and which colours rather than getting it and then not liking it. So the Revolution doesn't have a blue per se but it has got a purple so I'll be going into that first. So I've just brought the purple through here again and onto on top of the lid and I'll bring it out just a little bit more. So this palette does have a blue, so I'm going to be using that. So that's both eyes with blues and slash purples put on. So I'm going to go into the red like I did with the alcohol palette. I'm going to slowly add that in. And now I'm just going to go in with the red from the Crown Palette.
So these are the two finished looks and I would have to say that they're very different purely because one looks fresher and one looks older. So I'm going to show you one last bruise with one last palette. So for my final bruise I'm going to be using this eyeshadow palette. It's the Revolution Reloaded Marvelous Mattes. Um, but if you've got like any NYX or anything, Morphe, they'll all have similar colours so even though this is one that I'm using you can use a completely different one. So as ever I'm going to first go into the yellow. So this one has a choice of two yellows. Um, I'm going to go with the more mustard tone. The only problem I can see coming up with the eyeshadows is they might blend too much. So that is the yellow down. I'm going to go in with a blue. So this one has this blue here which is quite nice. It's, I think it's I think it's quite veiny so I'm going to go in with that blue. I'm not blending it. I'm doing the same sort of movements as I was doing with the Delian brush and all the other paints. I'm just sort of stippling it on to just to try to eliminate as much blending as possible. And then taking the red as ever and just packing that in in certain areas. I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised by how the eyeshadow applied and didn't blend as much as I expected it to. So it's definitely a plan to use eyeshadows if you're on a budget. Especially if it's only for one night, like you don't want to be spending a lot of money for Halloween. So I hope that has helped you understand how to create a bruised eye look for Halloween or anything else. And also the different types of materials that you can use. Um, alcohol palettes are really up there and really expensive. So if you can only afford eyeshadow looks, well I hope I've been able to help you to create decent looks. Comment down below which eye you think looks the best. And I hope I've helped you to be able to create a bruised eye look, whether you're on a low end budget or a high end budget. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again. Bye!